Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Random Call Sign. Welcome to a new video, and today it's going to be a quick one that might be useful for you. Kunos has just dropped the version 1.0.2 of Assetto Corsa Competizione into the public branch. That means everybody has access to it. In the change log, there are many things that are changed or improved, but mostly they are centered around performance and stability, including a new anti aliasing method. If you want to see the test of that, look at the card above. However, for me, the most interesting thing, the most interesting change is the last entry. And I'm quoting here, for seedback post-processing is now available like in the original Assetto Corsa. Copy your ff underscore post underscore process dot ini and associated LUTs to documents Assetto Corsa Competizione config. Essentially, this means if you don't like the current state of Assetto Corsa Competizione 4 Seedback, it's now possible to use the previous Assetto Corsa 4 Seedback post-processing with your custom lookup tables for each wheel model, which can change substantially the 4 Seedback quality or the way the 4 Seedback operates. If you have an already existent Assetto Corsa LUTs table generated and being used, this is just as easy as copying it into the machine folder, otherwise you'll need to generate one for your specific wheel. This will require about 5 minutes of your time and to download two small applications. Personally, I prefer the Competizione Force Feedback, but having more options is always good because, once again, Force Feedback is purely personal. The process is fairly straightforward and explained at the LUT generator for Assetto Corsa race department page. If you have both files generated and being used, just copy them to the mention folder. Otherwise, turn on your wheel, download and run the application wheel check. In the max count box, select 50. Then on a drop down box, use the step lock to option. After it's selected, the wheel will operate at its own until the test completes which should take about you two minutes. Once it's finished, run the LUT generator and pick up the .csv file that was generated by WheelChecker. This will be available at your documents folder. Give a name to the LUT file and copy it into Competizione config folder, then copy the ff underscore post underscore process dot ini, which is available at your Steam library Assetto Corsa config folder and copy it to the same folder as the LUT. To make sure it's activated, open the .ini file, confirm if the enabled is set at 1, and then below, at the curve, make sure that the LUT file has the same name as the one that you have generated. If you don't have any post-process files, just copy the text that is available in the description and create a .ini file using Notepad. It's just slightly long-winded if you don't have the files already generated, otherwise it's gonna be a really easy change, as easy as the change log implies. This really was visible in my T300, but once again, for feedback, from a certain point onwards, it's going to be very personal, and I prefer the way Assetto Corsa Competizione does the force feedback over the LUT files. Give it a try, maybe it will help improve your experience and your force feedback. If this video helped or you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.